What's up everybody? I hope you are doing well. Bailey Pop here and today we are going to look at every Funko Pop product ever. Yeah, or at least we're gonna try. Let's go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if we haven't already met. My name is Bailey, nice to meet you. I'm a collector and I enjoy things like anime, Marvel, Disney, and more so if you enjoy that kind of content make sure to stick around. And yes, today we are going to be trying to go over every single Funko Pop product that there has ever been. I have seen some videos about this, but I haven't seen one made super recently besides a TikTok slash reel slash short that Skittle Rampage made. And I actually found a few that he didn't have on there. First, however, I want to ask you, what is your favorite type of Funko Pop product? Is it your regular old Funko Pop? You enjoyed Pop Rides, Pop Trains, Pop Posters? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get into it. Between this clip in the last clip, what I found out is he made a part two to the video that I originally saw. So he did have more than I thought, so I'm sorry, babe, I correct myself. But here, here is more. He, he, he did miss like at least one, so. You better watch out to find out which one. So back in 2021, there was somebody on the Funko blog that tried to record all the different sizes and everything. There have been new products and sizes since then. For instance, now we have Bitty Pops. They don't have those on there and we have new covers. And there are so many products that I don't think they could document them, but hey, Funko, if you wanna use this as a reference, please feel free. But they do provide a whole chart showing you the size differences, which is really cool on the website. But let's start at the top, work our way down, and then anything else that I feel like they've missed. I have a whole little notepad here that I should have organized better, full of things that aren't on that website. And no, I'm not gonna be going over all the different kinds of finishes that they have on Pops. For instance, now they have facet, I always wanna call them faucet, metallic and chrome and all of those things. I'm not gonna go over all of that. I'm just gonna focus on the sizes and the different kinds of products there are in general. All right, let's get into it. First up, we have Big and Box. Standard Pops are approximately four inches tall. Those sizes range depending on the character. Figures that are at least five inches tall yet still shorter than six inches are considered to be big in box since they are still packaged and sold in the standard size pop figures. This includes pops like Super Saiyan Kale, Thanos from the Garden, and the Earth Giant from Frozen. Next we have Pop Super. This is the term used to indicate that a figure is six inches tall. Super pop figures include Hagrid, the Water Knock from Frozen, and Eva Unit 01 or 1. I I don't, I have never seen that, so I don't know. The super pop that I have here in person is Asuke Susano Pop. He's pretty big. That's what she said. Next we have Jumbo Pops or Pop Jumbo. Anyway, Jumbo Pops are 10 inches tall. Available Jumbo Pops include all of these right here. So they are the second largest pops available. There is a size between Super and Jumbo that is essentially nine inches. If you go back to a lot of the old Disney pops, they did create a whole series with these with the original Disney logo, I believe. You know that Cloud's Funko Days has a, I think it might be Selly and Boo. For a 10 inch pop, you can see right there that I have Toothless. I also have Mushu. And we have Mega Pops. This is one of the newer sizes. Well, not as new now. And there is a smaller selection of characters available as Mega Pop at a whopping 18 inches tall. That's what she said. I have the Pikachu one. It is up there. I did a whole unboxing video for it if you want to see it. But yeah, they're 18 inches tall. My Pikachu does not stand up well at all. But I do also have an Iron Man. He stands up pretty well. I actually don't know where he is. We gotta find him. I don't know how something that big is something we lost. Oh, we lost him in moving. Most of you also know they have a new pop size, which is a bitty pop. I don't know if it's considered technically a different brand of pop or if it's still considered part of the pop line but i think they're like maybe an inch tall if even like here is ah, here is one it's like half the size of my thumb and i have small thumbs those are all the regular pop sizes now let's go into the rest of them that's the best way to describe it the rest of them first we have pop pen toppers and i actually have two right here i'm not going to take them oh, i can take this one out but this one will take more effort but they are essentially pens with toppers. This is Jafar as like Evil Genie, and this one's All Might. And we have Pocket Pops. These one to two inch tall figures are available either through Funko Advent Calendars with exclusive t-shirt bundles or a special prize in box of Funko cereals. These compact collectibles are styled just like their larger pop counterparts. Ah, uh, yada, yada, yada. So I have a few different versions of this. I do have a regular Pocket Pop, which I actually got with a t-shirt bundle, and it is of Groot. I had to dig to find this. And then I have a Pop cereal pocket pop which is stitch that is just up for halloween yeah and they have something wild card games which is essentially card games that have pocket pops in them then there are pop keychains pick your collection beyond the shelves and carry some of your favorite characters such as 
keychains, pocket pop sized figures. Choose from characters like Pop, Han Solo, Leia, and Duff, Duffman, Doofman? I don't know, Simpsons. I do have three of these, but I'm just gonna show you one. This is my Naruto, ooh, she does. It's almost the same size as a pocket pop, essentially. Oh, okay, so they call it pocket pop keychain. So it is a pocket pop, it just has a keychain on it. But this is Naruto, and I think he might glow. At least the big version of him does. I don't know. Let's just move on. Next we have pop ornaments, and there are also pop party lights, including Spider-Man, Stormtroopers, Yoda, and Batman, and many more. For instance, I know that there's Captain America. Then we have pop Pez. As you can imagine, they're Pezes with pop heads. Pretty self-explanatory and also pretty popular. Then we have pop pins. Among the plethora of products Funko makes, enamel pins with pop designs are available. Some pins are normal size ranging between one to two inches tall, while other colossal four inch tall pins have a built-in stand such as Pop Woody and Pop Buzz Lightyear of Toy Story set. For instance, we have Tiana here from the Ultimate Disney Princess line, and they have a whole Funko collection that's going on right now with this gold Funko exclusive sticker and all of the princesses in a like gold slash silvery metallic slash sparkly kind of dress and with them they have pins. Funko actually created a official book for them. We put the backings in right here and then these are all the ones I have. I'm missing Mulan and Elsa. I think that might be it. Then they have pop sockets, not pop socket, pop sockets, which are pop sockets with pops on them. Yeah. Then we have Pop and Buddy. These are usually standard size vinyl figures that come with a tiny separate companion figure. The example I have for you right here is actually Kyo with Cat is a Hot Topic exclusive. Mine is also signed, so maybe this wasn't the best one to show as an example, but you can see in there that they have Kyo as Cat right there, and then they have the regular pop figure as well. Next we have DIY Pops. These extra special pop figures are standard size vinyl figures that are coated with white primer and ready for you to paint, color, and overall transform to your creative desires. Most of them, to the best of my knowledge, are Disney Pops. I can't think of any that weren't. We have Pop Mugs. As you can guess, it is a mug that looks like a pop. I know we have one somewhere. I have no idea where, but I think it's Doctor Strange. And I genuinely would use it if I knew where it was. <laughs> then there are pop watches. It is a watch with a pop on the inside. Pretty self-explanatory. Then we start going into the multiple different kinds of pops that have a special name that could be confused with a jumbo or a super or something like that. First we have popped a lot. Also if my glasses are like cricket or anything that's because they need to go get adjusted so I'm sorry if that bothers you. This type of pop is typically characterized by one distinct figure set in a small scene. So there we have Edward Scissorhands, we have Horridor, from Game of Thrones and we have Disney villains Maleficent on Throne. The Pop Deluxe that I have, hold on, I didn't grab it. Honestly, it's a lame excuse for Pop Deluxe, but here it is. At least I think so. If not, it's a moment. You guys get what I mean. I think it's a deluxe. Does it say on the bottom? It doesn't, but it might be. Either way, you have examples right there. Next, we have Pop Diecast. The Diecast series is tailored to collecting with its clear packaging protective case which allows you to see all of the figure inside. I was gonna read all of this for you, but it's clear that I'm horrible at reading things out loud on demand. So if you wanna read it, you can pause the video. But essentially they are die cast pops, which I believe that means they're metal, but they're very heavy. They have a clear outside, a fancy bottom, and they're very expensive. That's pretty much all you need to know. Then we have pop covers. Here it says they have game covers and album covers. They have come out with more since then. For instance, we also have comic covers. Here is the Walmart exclusive Spider-Man one. You have the animation one, which is a wanted poster. And we have VHS covers. I don't know if we have DVD covers now that I think about it, but we do have VHS ones. This is a special one that I got it from a friend that has the box lunch sticker on it. Then I think there are more, hold on, trading card covers, VHS, game, comic, albums, movie posters. Yeah, that should be all of them. Next we have Pop Rides. As their name suggests, Pop Rides involve a character and some sort of vehicle mode of transportation. There are three sizes of pop rides, including standard pop ride, pop ride deluxe, pop trains, and pop ride super deluxe pop. Do I have a pop ride here? I do. It is Naruto on Gamakichi. Hopefully I said that right. Similar to pop rides, these collectibles feature a themed train car and a pop figure which can stand inside the train car. Each car can be hooked together to complete a cohesive train display. Then we have Pop Towns. I do own one Pop Town, which is the 50th anniversary Disney World Castle and Mickey. Pop Town products are great for creating fuller scenes in your collection since they include a standard size pop as well as a vinyl figure building 
that correlates to the character. Now they aren't always in that box. For instance, mine was that nine inch box that I talked to you about earlier. For instance, a two pack of pops, but I don't know if I really consider that to be a different kind of pop as much as a different quantity, but it goes from a two pack all the way up to a nine pack. Then we have pop moments. Whether the scene is from a TV show, movie, game, or a different popular culture source, these large figures depict multiple characters acting out a scene while fixed to their base. These are typically figures made to commemorate epic moments from their source material. And I have multiple in my collection, but here is one from Naruto. Honestly, guys, I grabbed a bunch of my Naruto ones because they were easy to grab. A lot of my other ones are like really built into the display, but the Naruto ones are easier to grab. But we have Sasuke versus Naruto right here from the end of Naruto Shippuden. And we have masks, the Funko verse game, and then it proceeds to go on talking about the different types, which I will not be getting into today. And that is everything from the blog post. All right, now let's talk about everything that wasn't included in that blog post. First, we have mini packs. I, I think there's like two through four is the bundle. Like they're little packs that are about this big and they are very expensive. And we have pop and cards and trading cards, puzzles, salt and pepper shakers, and wrapping paper. And we have pop bags and wallets. This is a pop bag if you're wondering what it looks like, but it is essentially a Funko Pop turned into a bag. This is the only one I own and I'm happy with just having this one. I personally prefer the regular lounge fly myself. However, I have considered getting the Deku with Airy one. That one's cool. Then we have pop t-shirts and t-shirt bundles. For once in my life, I am not wearing a Funko Pop shirt right now. Then at one point they made pop hats. There's a screenshot of one that I found on Google. There's also Funko NFTs, including just digital NFTs and redeemable ones. This one is Princess Luna and she is limited to 1,550 pieces. And then there are also mystery boxes, which include an assortment of different Funko items, but most of the time they include Funko Pops. Next up, we do have some dishware. First, we have Funko Pop glasses. These are actually black light glasses. I don't know if they made any others, but these were a gift along with two others that I didn't bring up from our friend Julian. So thanks, Julian. And for some reason we haven't opened them up yet. But I do think they're pretty cool. And they also have Funko Pop bowls and spoons that go together and lunch boxes. They also have Funko Pop plushes, socks, lanyards, bookmarks, candies, life-size pops, and light and sound pops. And I feel like I'm still missing some, but hopefully that's all of them. Oh, that's because I missed one. There's Funko Pop makeup. I bought this a while ago because I wanted to do a video for you guys and I still haven't because I'm afraid it's really not gonna do well. So if you want this video, you need to beg me in the comments because I don't know if it's worth it, honestly, to do a whole dedicated video because I know a lot of you are guys. So like, I don't know if you really care for that, but I promise it won't be like daily content or anything, but just me doing the makeup with these products. There was some Rugrats stuff, but they mainly did pop villains. And honestly, I don't think it did that well. And that's why they haven't made more. But we have a whole brush set right here. This is the Maleficent one and it comes with a bag. Everything I bought unused, by the way. Then there is a lip gloss. I was able to get a hold of the Maleficent one. It looks like it's separated a lot and that's because it came out like two or three years ago at this point. I don't think I'm gonna be using this. <laughs> then we have the blush and bronzer palette, which is Cruella. This is what it looks like on the back. They also had a Ursula version, which was a highlighter palette. And then there's a Maleficent and Evil Queen eyeshadow palette. I was only able to grab the Maleficent one, but those are some of the colors on the back. And then I was able to grab the Maleficent eyeliner. And there were some other lip products and eyeliner products, I believe, but I wasn't able to find the full-on collections. Honestly, I'm not that surprised. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment what your favorite thing was, and consider subscribing. One thing that I don't own that I want to get is probably the salt and pepper shakers. I own salt and pepper shakers, but I just think they're cool. I don't know. And maybe the lights. Still debating that one. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Always remember that you are loved, you are valued, and you are enough. Bye!